actually been quite excited to talk about, and now I've got an opportunity to talk about it. Enter the arena, Mojito, who is the only player in the Intel World Open to this point with a 100% win <laughs> record. He subbed in for their first series mm -hmm. in the regional qualifiers, and he is back again in place of Madman Lugos. He is indeed. Illusion, though. Don't give a damn. <laughs> Straight up. Good little play by Squishy here. Right on into the corner. Cheeky little touch, and Illusion is ready every single day of the week for that one. Is Squishy rocking a Canada mobile? Oh. I want to see this. Can we, can we have a little look at Squishy? He's absolutely rocking That's a Canada, a Canada mobile. mobile. Oh, I can, I can, I can, I feel patriotic and I'm not even from there. <laughs> Wonderful. Lovely to see and certainly great to see for Canadian fans. An early one goal lead just to settle the nerves if there was any, of course. All of these players arguably of championship caliber. Certainly J Naps, certainly Squishy. Illusion with a lot to prove still, I think, but a strong part of this squad nonetheless as Puerto Rico are immediately on the defensive again. Oh, look at Jane Abs. He wants to drop it and he drops it like it's hot. 55 seconds on into the game. We've already got a second goal. Stick that on a rap album cover. Beautiful redirect. And Owl just watching. To be fair, Owl's, of course, creatures that can do 180 degree head rotations. They can see a lot of things, but they couldn't see J Naps pulling that off. Well, now their eyes are wide open. And here's Mojito looking to stir up a fancy cocktail of his own. Noisy boy. And that's given up to J Naps. Well, read by Owl to keep it pinned to the backboard. Mojito on the far post, not able to get in any further. Owl may be looking for Noisy boy. Finds Noisy boy a good block from Illusion. Noisy Boy again and a great demo in the midfield from Squishy. Falls kindly to Mojito and that would have been a great ball had one player not been demoed. That dangerous as it flashes across net. But again, let's attribute that back to the Squishy no! demo. Massive oh, what good coverage. Defense and well, the Puerto Rican defense get away from it. But I liked what I saw from them on offense as well, Bacon. Your chances. Yeah, you're seeing a lot of limits of hope here and whilst there are a couple of little slap ups, a couple of double commits there they are trying to follow through with regular rotations and coverage of one another is so difficult when you're going up against players of this caliber again puerto rico are having to step up you know they're going from first grade all the ready all the way to doing their master's degree or their doctorate or something it is a massive jump and that's no you know, hate towards Puerto Rico. These players just are going up against world champions. Well, with an exchange student in their midst as well. <laughs> Mojito, though, True. I'm sorry. It doesn't matter whether you're the sub or not. You should be putting that on target, and we should be talking about 2-1. Squishy, oh, you could see it coming. That was classic Squishy all day long. The well played to Owl. As he brings us out to the middle, is Mojito a whiff there, Illusion. Oh, and that's a massive demo from Jay Naps. Illusion with his first of the series, 3-0. Oh. Again, Kanda are not getting this easy. This is such a sweet play to come on out here. Break down any team ever. Which is massive respect towards Puerto Rico. Oh, yeah. Kanda know this is not an easy game for them. And they have to bring out every single trick they know. And Puerto Rico are doing a solid job. It is just, again, game one. We talk about nerves. Kanda, these are big enough players that there's no nerves here. Puerto Rico, I wouldn't be surprised if they're sweating buckets. But I think there's a leak in this bucket. <laughs> Plenty of leaks coming out my face as well and I, I'm, I'm, I'm sweating because I'm looking at this mojito shot and I'm thinking okay a couple of a couple of weird moments sure but given how late the call was clearly to bring mojito into this particular series you can actually half understand it it's a two goal game there's two minutes left and the script is there to be written the pop-up from Illusion. noisy boy good block on J naps Mihito wins this race, but not too much forward momentum. Squishy gives it up to Noisy Boy. Interesting choice here. Noisy Boy in field. And here's Owl. Oh, not much forward momentum there. And kind of just, just, kind of just stay in passive for the moment. They don't mind if Puerto Rico have these slip-ups because ultimately that's more time burned off the clock for them. Yeah, they're just waiting for 
the moment of the shot and you see this commitment to this play right now and there's one two three four attempts with shots on net doesn't really work Lucian's actually good at keepers coming with the pass on over towards squishy that is crazy jnap still keeping the attacks going he's gone for a shot towards center not going to be able to find net but you can just see Kanda, they reel it on up. You can see them just turning the crank and then suddenly they let loose and it is just a barrage, an absolute onslaught, a siege of different attacks. Siege is still not broken. The Puerto Rico defense again. Oh, that's off the crossbar. Now it's broken. The ladders are up on the battlements and Squishy has four. And they've got all their bases covered straight up. This is like the sort of moments that I would love to bring on the Telestrator, but it'd be like a whole 20 minute talk and discussion <laughs> about how Canada's near enough blocking off every single exit path. Oh dear. And then they also get kickoff goals because the world's unfair sometimes. So let's write off game number one, shall we, for Puerto Rico. I've liked what I've seen when they move forward, and I'm glad that they are not just content to turtle up and hope for a counter-attack. They want to be positive in their play style, which is good, but if you're going to be playing that play style against Canada, and even though this roster is effectively a pickup roster for all intensive purposes, make no mistake, this is still a top 16 team in NA. I mean, you are going to give up goals unless you pull out the nuttiest defense. You're saying this is like a pickup roster. This feels more like you're playing fantasy football right now. You yeah. know, like, yeah. I get, I'm just going to make Team Canada with the best three players I can pick. There's no limit. And you pick this, and it's like, damn, that's a pretty good team. I couldn't make a better team team myself. Oh wait, Team America over there, which I... Oh, ooh, yeah, that's, no, we'll get to them later, yeah. don't you worry. Mm. Right now, Puerto Rico, not the most embarrassing performance, all things considered. To lose by four goals, you'd consider that a rout. But you've scored against Canada. You've had more opportunities against Canada than perhaps the mm. average uh, the average like armchair pundit would necessarily expect any more than I expected, that's for Oh sure. yeah, I would get scored 20 by Canada if I was playing <laughs> pitch right now. I wonder what servers they're using. I've just looked at that. They're going for... Do we have it on here? No, unfortunately not. But it's Canada with the ping disadvantage. So we're going Mexican servers, I do believe, for this. Probably around about that area. I'd imagine so. That's certainly what we were looking at with uh, with Mexico and Chile. I also love that beautiful equalized shot counter. Five for Lucian, <laughs> five for Squishy, five for JNAPS. This is a team that has mastered total rotation and is quite happy to let everyone do everything. Yeah, that famous Three Musketeers quote, five for all and five for one. <laughs> <laughs> Is that how we went, really? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty sure, right? Twitch chat can correct me if I'm wrong, I'm sure. <laughs> hey, let's big up Mojito here. Dr literally dropped into the danger zone at the last moment to fill in for Madman Lugos. Just the most unenviable position. He's lost his 100% win record. Sag. But he has actually come out, got a goal for his team, and I liked his evolution in that game. A couple of missteps in the early couple of minutes, sure, but looked right at home by game's end. And as we put five more minutes up on the clock for game number two, I have plenty of hope for him as he's just turned up in this white tuxedo mm. of a Fennec. It is quite, quite the thing to look at. <laughs> I mean, it is a very classy and formal situation. You are on the world stage here at the Intel World Open. I mean, is that the silver, like, yeah, Wardy Camel? <laughs> I don't know. I, it is banging. That's what it is. I'll tell you right it's, now. It's, for it's, free. it's either it's either too it's either lower rank that I don't use it, it's or too bubbly. higher rank because I'll never reach it. It is the uh, silver wood decal. I love that. At least <laughs> I run it on the uh, on the Maverick personally. I like oh, that. that. I do like a silver and black thing. You know what my Maverick looks like? It's all like green and titanium, right? And, and mm. purple. Not to flex or anything. It's a really lovely looking machine. No, it's but not. Hito, like, you hurt my feelings. I mean, have you seen Jam's cars? So, like, oof. Well, I mean, listen, we've, we've all got the bar to get over, and thankfully for all us casters, it is over Jam's, that's for sure. Good pressure from Puerto Ooh. Rico while we've been bantering here. Unfortunately, it's all going to come to naught as Lucian just puts it in the other end. Again, it's Kanda's ability to just keep on turning the crank, and it's just constantly working towards something. If they're not confident in their ability to score, they'll just take it on back. And it does 
make it seem like Puerto Rico here. Wait, they've got good, solid defense, but they're now pushing up to the midfield because they've got that sort of like sense of safety, but that's just kind of sort of like baiting them on in. It's a very weird game. And I mean, Puerto Rico are having to play like chess at the same time playing Rocket League against Canada. Mojito looking to go knight to goal mouth. Mojito again blocks it in the middle. And here's Noisy stuck in the middle with them. It goes up high, loose ball. Here's Squishy looking for that J-Naps cherry pick. It's down to Squishy potentially. And Al, I think, gets a touch on that. Not that it's going to go too far. Mojito is last man and he makes that save. Uh, Al, oh, and Noisy boy. And they're all looking at each other like, oh, oh, have you got it? Have you got it? And well, nobody actually had it because Canada's 2 0 up. Problem is, James, no knights here, not able to move three spaces, only kings, only able to go one, and I mean, good looking kings. I mean, we can see the cars, but yeah, just or crown limited. Sires. Mm. Or crowns size, unless it's just like a really big crown that can fit all of them in. I would just love there to be like a plural of crowns just crying or something, you know. Make up a new word. Yeah. <laughs> Just, well, I mean, that's what the British are best at, of course, is making up new words. Not that we're going to try and do that on this broadcast. That would just make us look silly. Owl. And, well, that's not the best clearance for him. Loose. j -Naps, beautiful back pass. Again, this man has so much experience. They all do to their credit. And Squishy Muffins, with a mechanical prowess, is not able to put it underneath the crossbar. It's only 2-0. It's half time. Can it be 2-1? Big stop from Squishy to deny Owl. Yeah, just not going to be able to put that one away. Definitely rustled his feathers, though. Look at Mejia charging onto this one. j -Naps, good little slowdown. Mejia would just not expect that. Again, coming from ranked, you would expect a player to go for that sort of like pinch, but no, j -Naps looks at him and goes, I've got tons of time here. I'm just going to turn in on it. Phew. Illusion. That's a double commit, actually, from J-Naps and Illusion. Al, can he make his way into the midfield? No, there is Squishy. Lovely find for J-Naps. Got plenty of boost to work with as well. See Squishy. No Squishies there. Goes far post. Illusion chips it back in. Squishy. It's off the crossbar and away. Illusion closed down by Mojito. Squishy still lurking. And Al finally with the clearance they were looking for. J Naps returns to sender. It goes far corner this time. And Squishy's going to get there first again. J Naps tries to dunk on Mojito. Not going to come off. Here's J Naps. No, it's Noisy Boy to get there first. But J Naps with that 100 steal. And it's looking worse and worse and scarier and scarier for Puerto Rico, turning into a bit of a horror story here. j -Naps in field, Owl away, Illusion lurking on the midfield line. Here he is off the top of the box, actually misses that touch and allows Noise Boy to go all the way down. Owl, why are you on their goal line? I don't know what you were doing there, but either way, there's 60 seconds left, and although it's still, again, another very respectable scoreline for Puerto Rico, there is no sign that it is going to be overturned. No, and you can just look at the pathing of the Puerto Rican players, and Clearance is way too easy to get on over. There it is. Yeah. Al here was just lingering on the boost. Mm -hmm. You've got to, like, forget about the boost sometimes. You've got to, like, cover the net because... <laughs> yeah. Squishy was just like, uh, you're not going to get it, and you're not going to get it, and you're not going to... Oh, hi, j -Naps. There you go. Have a goal. I mean, Squishy has just been everywhere. He's here, there, everywhere. It's Squishy Muffins. He does what he wants. Squishy Muffins does indeed do whatever he wants. And that's kind of been his season for NRG. It's not been the most prolific by any stretch of the imagination, but he has just been Mr. Reliable. Hey, want a clutch goal? Here you go. Hey, need some creative juice? Well, here you go. And it is why they are America champions. And I certainly think there are a few people who, in chat who would believe that they are still regarded worthy of being called world champions. It's off the beans on toast for Illusion as they look for a fourth. But let's be fair, Puerto Rico aren't getting back into this one, and they've got to do the fabled reverse sweep on Canada, the favorites of the group, to take the W in this series. Is it going to happen, Bacon? If it does, just throw out the script. Yeah. Burn it. I mean, it's over. First, we just need to see a goal. I'm not trying to be mean or anything about that, but that's I've it. I've seen a goal in game number one. Mojito. <gasps> yes, we did. They have scored a goal. Oh, now that's just poor massive smile to my face. <laughs> um, because I thought it was a lot grimmer than that. No, no. Uh, sorry about that, boys and girls.
non-binary friends at home. But it was just a case of, you're looking at this right now and you don't want a continuous hammering coming on out from Canada. You want Puerto Rico to, again, just build up a bit of steam. Go up against Chile and Mexico. That's the games they know they win. And yeah. I'm just going to say it right now, we'd probably expect Canada the Frio sweep every team in this group. It's Canada. Oh, I I don't think I'd agree with that one necessarily. I think Mexico looked pretty good. And if Chile are able to find Rays Ball back in, in, in their house, then maybe we'll see some games taken off Canada there. This was the one which I had labeled down as a 3-0, but actually I'm considering it from the other perspective. I'm looking at Puerto Rico and thinking, how is this team going to do up against the other teams which they need to beat in order to find themselves in that double elim bracket for the big bucks? Hmm. I think they're gonna do better than people expect. Canada's not necessarily flexing as we head into game number three, Bacon but they're not exactly being outshined here, Puerto Rico. Yeah, I've just actually opened up your notes and I like the start of predictions, but then you just, you, you're drawn a maze. Like, what what is that right there? It makes no sense. <laughs> uh, it's it's my fun for when I'm going to be doing some hosting later and I'll be, I'll be letting other people get onto the commentary desk. And I'll... I would love you to just do a maze with Twitch chat. Like, just everyone gets in Yeah, together. sure. I mean, Ooh. you could play some Snake or something as Jay Naps is going to slither his way into another goal-scoring situation. He's it's a pop. Mean. It's a bop. It's a 1-0 Canada. What a pass, what a pop, like he said, and then the finish. Damn, Canada. I mean, I remember the sort of like little pseudo little World Cup that we had a couple of years on back, which is by Johnny Boy, of course, but I'm looking at it now. Canada are probably there going like, nah, US got it last time, we're getting it this time. I think it's going to be a lot closer between Canada and America than than people would like to admit as Squishy tries to go under Noisy Boy, holds strong on this occasion. I'm there thinking like, I think most people are predicting a game five. How much closer can you get? I, I, I've not seen many people predicting game five. I've seen Canada taking one game off the USA, if that, because to be fair, they do have just this ultra mega super duper roster with the best player in North America to boot. Nah, they don't have that much cohesion between them. They've got skill, but I'm looking at this Canadian side and I truly see such mental fortitude that has been built between them and that they have got such just straight up chemistry already between each other. They know where they want to put this ball and they're continuously getting passes to one another. Well, I mean, it's 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 what we say really in the European region. When you have three uh, team players speaking the same language, of course, all three of these players speaking Canadian, you know, you're going to be <laughs> playing better. Is Mojito? Can I get that on Duolingo? Canadian. <laughs> <laughs> Eh? <laughs> I, can Sorry, bit, I can speak a bit myself. <laughs> Al going far post J Naps again. Forced to put up the save and once again, like, I've got to give so much respect to my lads on Canada. Just giving Puerto Rico their birth, you know, knowing that this team can bite them if they get too complacent. But that was a little bit of an over-rotation, unfortunately, from Puerto Rico. Mojito floundering in net as Lucian puts away number two for the red and white. And again, you can see with just little plays like that, Canada are not pulling punches. We've seen it all series long. So, again, many, <laughs> Ooh, many teams would just be happy with the... Uh, Goal difference as it has been. That's a nice looking attack. Not going to be able to come on through. Al is lingering. He's setting up Mahito. But damn, what a jump that was from J Naps for it. Oh, noisy boy. Power sliding all over the place. Finally readjusts in time. But again, Canos are just so happy to hold on back. You can tell that they really do just know that any attack that comes their way from Puerto Rico. As long as they've got that defensive setup in place, it should be easy enough. And they can just go down the other end, maybe have one or two drives, try and pick up another goal, and then reset once again. It might not be the most flashy game plan, but it is a game plan that is working with two minutes left. A demo from Squishy, a demo from Noisy Boy, and the breakaway from Puerto Rico is broken down once again. A yeah, nice little bit of karma on the pitch there. Good little clearance from Squishy. Can Al get it? Yes, oh. just in time. Squishy oh, is called off by Illusion because Illusion knows where Jane Apps is at. Beautiful.
beautiful sequence. It does originally look like a little bit of a, a skew whiff shot, but it's actually the perfect setup for J Naps, who was ready at that far post. And Puerto Rico with one minute 44. They have not scored more than one goal in a game. It is a tall, tall mountain to climb, taller than Mount Fuji, if they are to find a way to overtime, let alone a game win. I'm the type of bloke anyway who gets the best passes from really bad shots, so I can appreciate that massively anyway. But here again, appreciating good run out from Al. He just needs an option here. And again, it's that lack of competitive experience coming on through from Puerto Rico, just not to have a man downfield ready on it. They finally got some options building on up, but Noisy Boy's got no midfield boost. He's going to have to go the whole way back. And it's Kanja just controlling the pitch through and through. Oh, hello. Oh, really? hello. Oh. That was almost perfection on the pitch. We could have just closed the broadcast off. Yeah, that was it. I would have been done. done. It's not getting any better. Lovely, lovely stuff from Canada. Really echoing Japan from yesterday. Another great double touch off the backboard. And I've said it once, I've said it twice, and I'm going to say it again. Puerto Rico, I don't think they played particularly badly. I'd actually say that, given the expectations for this squad, they've played pretty well, of course. In the one blowout game that they did have, they went ahead and they scored a goal, but they've shored up the defense, and this style of play is going to work a lot better against their other two opponents. Yeah, just straight up. Like we saw from Chile and Mexico earlier, where the defense is generally where they're a little bit lacking, Puerto Rico is going to be able to find roots on through. But you can just see Lucian's manhandling out there to be like, no, you're not going to be able to control the ball here because I'm controlling you. And I don't want you anywhere near that. Oh, wow. Oh. <laughs> he was watching and praying that his teammate was coming in clutch. And Noisy Boy indeed did just that. Is there going to be a, a go-away goal here? And number four, no. Canada are going to pay their full respects to Puerto Rico. F's in chat, only one goal for them. But they will have easier days at the office. Canada 